What's up guys? It's your boy, Big Will, Manute. As you can tell, time for another Potter Quiz. Time for another Potter Quiz. Representing today, got my green on, got my Slytherin Hogwarts shirt on. Quidditch. Slytherin Seeker. You know it. I bleed green. Today's quiz Harry Potter film binge quiz. The films, super easy. I don't expect to miss any on this. Any. So let's bring it up for you guys. I'll put the link in the description box for uh for you to follow along. Do do do. Let's start. Make it to where you guys can see it. All right. Who directed Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? The first film first film was Chris Columbus boom next question what is the very first line of the film very first line of the film. I think the very first line of the film is I should have known I should have known to expect you here, Professor McGonagall. Should, yep. I should have known that you would be here. Boom. Boom. What? Too easy. In the fo in the following famous Snape line, where does the actor Alan Reichman place a very long pause? I gotta read these. People, Pauls, will think you're up to something. That's when he's like, "What are two young Gryffindors like you doing, doing inside on a day like this?" People will think you're up to something. People will think you're up, Pauls, to something. Oh, what? Incorrect. People would think you're up. That's what I put. Oh, no. People would think you're Paul's up to something. Really? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I read the books way more than I uh, watch the movies, though, so... In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, what color is the sock that Dobby gets at the end? Black. The black. 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 Oh. No! Oh. Damn. In the movies, it is gray. In the books, it's black. Oh. Okay, this. So movie quiz, movie quiz. I gotta insert the movies into my head. Insert the movies into my head. Oh my God! In the Chamber of Secrets book, ha! Ah, thank you. Mrs. Weasley magically fixes Harry's broken glasses. Who repairs them in Diagon Alley in the film? Ah, Hermione does it. She said, "Harry, what happened to your glasses?" Oculus Repero. Boom. What is Gilderoy Lockhart doing in the large portrait of himself in the Chamber of Secrets? He's painting his own portrait. Painting a portrait of himself. Boom. Boom. What is the spell and what is, what is the spell Harry is attempting under the bedclothes in Harry Potter and the Prisoner Azkaban Lumos Maxima Lumos Maxima as you guys can see you see what I see I haven't even scrolled down yet Lumos Maxima 
Boom. Boom. Okay, let me make it to where I can see the answers. All right. In The Prisoner of Azkaban, which lead singer of which rock band has a cameo in the Leaky Cauldron as a wizard magically stirring his tea? Well, the only rock band that they ever talk about is the Weird Sisters. But I, this I didn't know. I didn't know he made a cameo. Which lead singer of which rock band has a cameo? See, I don't, I don't know this. I had to look at the multiple choice. Jarvis Cocker of Pulp, Sean Ryder of the Happy Monday. All oh, these are real bands. I didn't know this. Ian Brown of Stone Rose, Bobby Galisky of Primal Scream. Oh, see, I don't know this. I didn't know that they're um. I'm guessing it's a British band. The singer made a cameo, and um, I know what he's talking about because he's he's spinning. I know exactly the scene, but I didn't know he was an elite singer of a rock band. So this I don't know. Better take a guess. Incorrect. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. Ian Brown of Stone Rose. Okay. I didn't know that one. I did not know that one. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, what does Cedric Diggory do the first time we see him in film? jumps out of a tree he jumps out of a tree jumps from a tree boom Barty Cross Jr. played by David Tennant is notable is notable for what facial tick he like does The little tongue, sh the little tongue thing he does, sticking his tongue out. Boom. He's Doctor Who, by the way, and um, Kilgrave from uh, Jessica Jones. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, what color is Tonks's hair when we first see her in the film? like a burgundy or like dark red pink red ah oh, damn it purple god damn it oh. fucking mm. this is this is pissing me off <laughs> I'm not going to lie it's kind of pissing me off the fifth film introduced us to Bellatrix Lestrange but who plays her? Um, Helen Bo Bolin, Tim Burton's wife. Helen Helen Bowen something. Helen Bowen. Yeah, Helen Bowen Carter. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Which London Bridge is destroyed at the beginning of Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince? Which London Bridge? They don't really tell us that. I guess if you know your scenery, I don't know England like that. So I wouldn't recognize what bridge it was. So multiple choice. I don't know. Westminster? Yeah. I. This is hard. Millennium Bridge, yeah. I don't know my scenery like that. What relation is... Hero Phineas Tiffin, who plays the 11 year old Tom Riddle, to Ralph Phineas, who plays Voldemort. Huh. I want to say his nephew. Because it doesn't really look like him to be his son. So I'm going to say his nephew. Ooh. No relation at all. Their names are just a coincidence. I, I, I think I would have known this. I'm going to say no relation at all. Ugh. It was his nephew. Go with your first instinct, people. Always go with your first instinct. Damn it.
Select all that apply. Which of the following does Slughorn mistakenly call Ron Weasley during the course of the film? Um. God. I'm thinking because I've just got I've, I've been listening to uh, the Goblet of Fire, so I got Weatherby in my my head because that's what uh. Crouch calls uh, Percy. Calls him Weatherby. So I'm going to go multiple choice on this. Wallenby. Yeah, he calls him Wallenby. Wallenby. Ooh, how's it spelled? All select all that apply. Um, he doesn't call him Westerly. Winby. Wellsby. I think that's it. What? Winby? When does he call him Winby? Wow, I'm doing horrible. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1, what... Nick Cave song do Harry and Harmony dance in the tent. Um I can I can hear the song because it's awkward as hell. They was dancing real goofy. Old oh, children tomorrow's when we know who you are. Julebury Street. Ah. <sighs> I don't know. God, dog it. Wow. Old children. Wow. Mm, in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1, who narrates the tale of the three brothers? In the books, in the in the books, Xenophilius has Hermione read the book, read the uh, the tale of the three brothers. But in the movies, I think he tells it. I don't think Hermione read. Yeah, it's it's Xenophilius love good. Emma Watson, right? I'm gonna guess Emma. Huh? I guess they did it right. I could have swore. Hmm. Okay. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part Two. What color dress is Albus and Applefort Dumbledore's sister Ariana wearing? It's, a, it's a, like a, a baby blue. Oh, they just said blue. There we go. Let's get back on the right track. These questions. What does Neville say that he's mad for at the height of the Battle of Hogwarts? For Luna. He's mad for Luna. Oh, who? Yeah, Luna Lovegood. Which makes no sense that they didn't end up together. How the hell does he end up with Hannah Abbott? And not Luna. Whatever, JK. Whatever. You never had Neville converse with Hannah Abbott at all. But yet, they end up getting married. Lazy writing. What is the final line of the final film?
it's in it's in the scene where they're older they see their children off to Hogwarts he said Albuciferous you were named after two headmasters of Hogwarts one of them was a Slytherin and he was the bravest man that I've ever known I don't want the books What? What is the final line of the final film? Sure, okay, really, ready. I'm gonna say okay. Ready. That's right, because when he puts his hand on his son's shoulder, and that's the last thing they say before they go through platform nine and three quarters. Huh. Fifty five percent. Love good. We definitely commend you for your for this result, but much like an old cauldron, you've gone a little bit rusty. Make a little Dudley Dursley get a second television and sit back for a super rewatch. <laughs> yeah, just because I got the books too in my head, man. Need more quizzes in your life? Understandable. I'll try out part of more Christmas quiz next. No, and I'll say that for another video. Well, I did horrible. Don't tell nobody, even though it's forever cemented on YouTube. But, uh, how'd y'all do? Did y'all do better than me? Probably. Uh, evidently, I need to stop listening to the books uh, and rewatch the movies. Uh, the books are like, boom, the books are in here. I do any quizzes based off the books, boom. But movies, yeah, I'm kind of lacking on my movie. I don't watch the movies too much. Because at work, I listen, I put my headphones in my ear, and 8 to 10 hours a day, you know, I, and I work in a room by myself, I just put the buds in, and I listen to the Harry Potter books, you know, in, in succession, I'll go, you know, from book 1 to book 7, you know, just boom, I just listen to them, so the books are in there, the movies, not so much, but, uh, Hit me in the comment section. Let me know how you guys did. If you did better than me, which you probably did. Let me know what your score was. And uh, hit the like button. Subscribe. Share the video. And that's pretty much it. Peace, Grease. See you guys next time. Deuces.